My Computex coverage is brought to you by Wootware and MSI. Be sure to check out their links down in the video description. While there's been plenty of recent advancements in the different type of mechanical switches that are coming out, there's been one constant. They've been a digital solution. The key you press is either on or off. The Wooting One aims to change that by introducing an analog key switch that allows users to control their key presses just like they would a joystick on a gamepad. This Kickstarter project, now at two and a half times their funding goal with three weeks left, brought one of their prototypes to Computex to display just what analog keys can do for gaming. The Wooting One uses FlareTech optical switches which transmit an analog signal to the computer and allow precise control as opposed to being an either on or off signal with traditional keyboards. The utility of the Wooting One is achieved by the PC recognizing it as a standard keyboard, gamepad, and an Xbox controller, allowing the inputs to be mapped to the amount of depth that the keys travel. This also gives the Wooting One the flexibility of switching between standard digital cherry switch activation and the analog activation. And while the Wooting One is still a prototype, the actual demo worked flawlessly when testing it out on a game of Overwatch. It takes a bit of getting used to, as I'm certainly one who mashes his keys in games, but there's definitely a lot of precision that can be gained through an analog keyboard solution. The switches are based on normal Cherry MX models, but there's the added advantage of being able to swap in whatever Cherry switch you want on whatever key you want. So you could have browns on only WASD and blue on the rest, or put reds on the function keys and put silence on the rest. It really is a very flexible solution. And while the Wooting One still has some technical challenges to work through, such as getting the key press to register before a two millimeter activation point, they've already made progress since their Kickstarter was announced, moving from a keyboard that only had 19 analog keys to a fully analog solution on every single key. There's certainly a lot of nuance that will come with an analog keyboard such as optimizing game functions through the depth that you press the key or even having macros for your keyboard associated with the amount of distance that the key travels. I'm personally excited for this new development in keyboard technology and can't wait until the full retail version becomes available. Again, I would like to thank Wootware and MSI for sending me to Computex 2016, and be sure to subscribe for all of my Computex coverage. Cheers.